You're watching KMAC Red Raider Nation's Countdown to Kickoff. Welcome back inside the KMAC studios for Countdown to Kickoff. Stan Smith, David Collier, Mason Horodisky, whiteboards. It's time for board <laughs> games, ladies and gentlemen. Let's break them out. As you know, we'll start off with our over-unders that we're expecting in this game. Shocker, the Red Raiders like to pass the ball a lot. So let's go with Texas Tech receiving yards over under 300. I like that number. I like it too. Let's see. Riveting television yeah. watching us all right, right on right, our great, whiteboards. Great TV, yes. You want to start it off, Stan? I will start us off. I am going to say over for the fact that they obviously throw the ball all over the yard. But if you look at the Texas defense, they're going to be without one of their star players, Overshone, who can rush the passer and defend the pass as well. So with him out for the first half because of that targeting play last week, that's why they are going to go over on 300. Over, Overshone. See what you did there, ah, David. What are we thinking? We that's my terrible I, pun I tonight. Is there any <laughs> under names? I'm going to go with under on this one. I think uh, it might not be as much of Texas Tech not being able to throw the ball as much as the other team running the ball and eating up the clock and not giving you as many opportunities to get those passing yards. Not a bad idea, but I got to go with Stan on this one. Over, over, over. They are the only team in the Big 12 Conference right now that's eclipsed over 1,100 passing yards. One of two that's hit that quadruple digit mark. Mm -hmm. They average 373 a game right now. I got to go with the over on this one. Life's too short to bet the under. Amen to that <laughs> one, brother. So let's talk a little bit more on the other side of the ball. You mentioned the rushing game that we're going to see maybe out of Texas Tech, definitely out of Texas in this mm -hmm. one. Bijan Robinson, let's see how many rushing yards we think he'll have. I'll set it at 115. I'm already writing it down. You didn't even have to tell me a number. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> I will go over for Bijan Robinson's rushing yards, and I think, you know, they're going to give him the ball early, often, and the only way he doesn't get over that is probably because... Uh, Everybody else running the football for the Longhorns might have uh, some reps in there as well. I just think that's going to be the game plan. Run the football and see if the Red Raiders can stop you. All right. I Oh, you want to go? Uh, you go. I'll go. I will go with the over as well for this reason. We just spoke with Roger Wallace. He said that they are having a problem going over the top with Hudson Card. If, if Quinn Ewers does play at all, that's going to change a little bit. But as we know now, if Hudson Card starts this game, they're going to be giving the ball to their best player, Bijan Robinson. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go with the under in this one, actually, fellas. Look, I get it. Bijan could win the Heisman this year. But if there's a single player that they're game planning for the entire year as much as one individual, it's got to be Bijan. Plus, Texas Tech's defensive line has been lights yeah. out at the Jones this year. I think if they know that they have to hone in on him, and I think they're going to do just that. He's going to have a big game. You can't prevent that, but I don't know how big of a game. Yeah. But all right, let's move on to our final one. Headlines, fellas, what are we thinking? Ooh. Let's see. I got one that requires maybe a little explanation. I'll go ahead and go first, I guess, here. Uh, you guys probably don't remember 1994 classic movie featuring Keenan Ivory Wayans. It was called a low down dirty shame, but we're going to go with a horns down dirty shame. That will be the headline after this one. As they I'm leave unfamiliar. Uh, you're right. I didn't see that movie. Yeah, I, I figured you didn't, but I had, that's why I had to preface it and explain it. There we horns go. down dirty shame. <laughs> what do we got, Stan? I want to go. This is going to go against what you said earlier, your mustard guy. Dijon bad. Bijan good in the sense that they are going to give him the ball early and often and probably a lot too. So I think Bijan is going to have a good game. So I got one that, like I said, requires a little explanation. Left on red. So I've done a little digging. I feel like this storyline's kind of flown under the radar going into this. The Texas Longhorns actually offered Joey McGuire a position coach deal back in 2015. He said no. Obviously, he ended up at Baylor after that with Matt Rule, but I guess this wouldn't be the first time that Joey McGuire denies the Longhorns if he pulls this one yeah, off later on today. He's been, he's been doing this for a while. Oh, now. yes, he has. <laughs> it's not too long, though, because I think the school he was at in high school used that sign. That's a good point. That's a good point. Cedar Didn't even think of that. <laughs> Shout out to <the> FW. <laughs> <laughs> now we're going to talk about the games that are happening right here on KMAC today. First up, we have the Clemson Tigers visiting the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. This could help decide the ACC Atlantic Division. Up next on the schedule, staying in the state of North Carolina, the Tar Heels hosting at Notre Dame. There could be a ton of points scored in this one. And then the nightcap of the night, third-ranked Ohio State hosts the Wisconsin Badgers. The Buckeyes have won eight in a row in this series, and the Badgers haven't won in Columbus in 18 years. But hey, crazy things can happen in the shoe. Now, a celebrity of sorts oh is coming to <laughs> Lubbock today. 
what would that would be Barstool Sports personality Dana Beers. He's going on a tour across the country to figure out which school he should root for. And we had the chance to sit down with him this week, and he's quite the character, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but he'll tell you why the Red Raiders made the cut. I can't wait to be in the sea of red, and I hope to Christ that they beat down Texas because I want to be part of this atmosphere so bad. But what fits into that criteria of a team that says this is what Dana Beers should cheer for? And this was very clear off the bat with Texas Tech is the pulse of the fans and how much they are dedicated to their teams. I want to be part of a gritty team. I want to be part of a fan base that just cares, cares, and bleeds their school's colors. But it's so clear that Texas Tech has been number one by a mile. Did I put South Carolina as number one pretty recently? Yes. Am I trying to build a little bit of drama? Maybe. Who's to say? But Texas Tech has been clearly the most passionate, and I love it. Pesky game, Cox. Who would like <laughs> those guys? This one. <laughs> I can't. I can't. Well, big thanks to Mr. Beers for that one. And we, when we come back, we give you what to watch for, so you want to stay tuned. Do the beer tweet. Yes, deleting. <laughs> he's going to delete some beers. Let Just me a tell you. But first, here's Ron Roberts for your weather today. Countdown to kick off, and it's going to be a very hot day Saturday afternoon. You already know that, and you know 91 degrees. At 2.30, probably will peak somewhere around 92, 93 in the 3 to 4 o'clock hour before things settle down. So drink plenty of water. H2O, you've got to do that. And, boy, just watch and listen to your body. The, the heat exhaustion is certainly a real possibility. Wreck'em Red Raiders. Last time we'll see you guys in the Longhorns in Lubbock for a long time.